What's up everybody, it's Jason from Straight Edge Knives. Uh, I know it's been a minute since I made a video and I apologize, uh, just, you know, we get busy with life and work and everything else. And, uh, you know, I appreciate you being patient. Uh, you know, I want to keep making videos for you guys and I, if you keep watching, I appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> hope you all had a good Mother's Day uh, for all the moms out there. I don't know if we have any moms subscribed to this channel, but I know my wife is. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys all had a good Mother's Day. Let's get into this. Uh, today, I'm going to go over, I've showed these a couple of times in some uh, previous videos, but figured, you know what, I got something a little special that came in the middle yesterday, and I, th I think I'll show it off for you guys, <clears throat> but it has to do with these three knives. Um, so let's get into it. Um, as you all know, I'm a big fan of Topps knives, but uh, one of my favorites is the Topps Tex Creek. Uh, this one has Rocky Mountain Tread. Uh, originally it was uh, the original color, but I actually sent it in and had them do the, the bronze Cerakote. Came out really nice. It looks beautiful to me. Uh, but what I wanted to show you guys today is I have three of the Tex Creeks. I have the regular Tex Creek, the Tex Creek 69, and the 20 year anniversary model. And I know some people are like, well, what's, you know, are they, what's the difference? So I figure I'll show you guys. Uh, you know, obviously this will usually come in the standard, uh, was it the black or gray finish? Uh, but, you know, like I said, I had this one done up a little bit. Comes with a uh, light, uh, I don't know what color you'd call this, kind of a, like a lighter brown sheath. Um, me being a, the genius I am, I accidentally stuck the knife too far through when I first got it and actually cut the stitching down there. So um, I put a rivet in there to kind of fix that, but so don't shove it too far in there uh, or you're going to do that <laughs> uh, the Tex Creek 69 comes with a darker chocolate brown sheath um, comes in a uh, the they call this a bullseye tread that's on the handle material um, it also comes with this really cool looking like desert tannish uh, powder coat look really beautiful knife uh, one of the di big differences too you'll see between these two is this one has Allen head screws holding the, the, the handle scales on, whereas this one has Phillips head screws. Um, from what I've been told, the reason, uh, one of the reasons why they use Phillips head screws on some of the knives is to, if you're field dressing an animal or something like that, or using it to butcher something, you get blood and guts and stuff down here. The Phillips heads are easy to remove out in the field to clean the knife up. Um, so that's just uh, one of the things I've heard. I don't know how true that is, but you know, it sounds good. Uh, so we're going to go with it. Um, on the 20 year anniversary model, it comes with this very nice Kydex sheath with a dangler. Uh, it's a black and like a blood red, a blood orange red kind of um, color to uh, two different pieces of Kydex. Really nice dangler. Uh, very good retention. I mean, almost pretty stiff in there so it's a very nice sheath um, the Tex Creek 20 year anniversary comes in a CPM 154 still where the other two come in a uh, or 1095 uh, this is a beautiful knife um, it's got this really cool reddish and black like carbon fiber type look to it that matches the sheath uh, very very nice got some white liners and G10 liners in there uh, very nice but one of the things that um, I'll point out that <clears throat> oftentimes people may not notice or don't know is like when you start stacking these up next to each other, um, there are a little bit of differences. This might be because of the Rocky Mountain Tread, but the handle scale thickness on the 20 year is definitely thicker than my standard version. And uh, this one, the, the 69 is also a lot, I don't want to say a lot thicker, but it's thicker in size. A lot of that might have to do with the fact that I have the Rocky Mountain Tread on here. Um, I'm not sure. When I ordered this one, I had it come with the Rocky Mountain, so I don't know uh, if it would be this thick or not. Um, other than that, I mean, the knives are pretty much identical. Um, sometimes you get some slight, you start really looking, you know, comparing them up. There's like very slight differences because a lot of, you know, they're hand ground. And, 
hand sharpened and so that's going to create some variances and some differences um, if you put the uh, 20 year you can see they're the same thickness everything's pretty much the same um, really at the end of the day when it comes down to it with these three knives it's just going to be personal preference on like kind of what color you like um, what steel you like um, what sheath material you like um, <clears throat> The 20 year anniversary model, if you can get your hands on it, it's worth getting. Um, it's a beautiful knife. Uh, they only made 500 of these. This one's number 462. Um, I got, I think I got one of the last ones that was available through Chicago Knife Works. Um, uh, but beautiful knife. I mean, all three of them. I, I actually carry all three of them. They rotate through my everyday carry, um, especially you know after I got this one not too long ago. Um, I just really like the way it looks. Feels really good. Uh, I do. I do like the darker chocolate leather as well. Um, but let's get onto the special thing. I mean, really, guys. Once you, I mean, like I said, you kind of see the diff. Really, not a ton of difference between the three models, other than the steel with the you know 154 uh, CPM 154 and 1095. Um, the other difference would be you know this bullseye tread and the Phillips heads, or do you want, this usually is a black linen micarta, which just, but like I said, I did the rocket mount trade, so you can kind of get an idea of what you're looking at, um, if you, depending on what model you get. But let's get on to the special thing <clears throat> that I just got in the mail the other day. It's right here, I'm not gonna flip it the other side because I'm not gonna give out the person's address, but, uh, I really like this knife. Uh, I think it's a very, very nice knife, and I like the sheath. But I've always felt like this should have a nice leather sheath as well. I mean, something classy. I mean, this is with this black and red um, carbon fiber look, and you know, it's just the color of the blade and everything. I, to me, this is a, a classy looking knife. And, uh, you know, sometimes I like to get dressed up, you know, go out on the town with a wife, you know, and I want to carry this knife and I wanted to carry it in a nice, classy looking leather sheath. So I hit up Craig Powell over at Topps Knives and asked him if he could make me a sheath. And here it is. Uh, so just opening it for you guys. I, I've only seen a picture of it. So I don't, I haven't seen it in person, obviously. I'm opening it for the first time. <clears throat> I can tell you he packaged it very well. Um, he put a lot of work into this, and I greatly appreciate it, Craig, if you're watching this. Um, yeah, he did package this nice, guys. Got it taped up. Nice cardboard paper here. Looks like he might have even wrapped up, wrapped it up in a pair of his old chonies. No, I'm just kidding. It's a t-shirt, old t-shirt. It looks like. Eh, if I can get this out. Woo! Okay, guys, this is nice. And this matches the Tex Creek 20-year anniversary model. So here it is, a very nice leather sheath from Craig Powell over at Tops Knives. This is ostrich laid in here um, it's got nice stitching everything's polished I did want this to drop a little bit farther down on my belt loop, so it actually has a little bit lower hang um, a little bit lower you know hanging rather than like say that see how the belt loops here this one's longer I like the sheath to hang down a little bit uh, kind of almost like a Gun, almost like a gunslinger in a way if you will uh, but man this is a nice thick leather very everything's very polished out smooth this ostrich is very very nice guys check that out uh, Craig from what I understand hasn't been making leather sheaths for very long either so um, I think he's doing a pretty damn fine job so let's uh, see how it fits up Perfect.
you can see the coloring here it's definitely matching up with the sheath um, I don't expect it to rattle it's not falling out at all shaking it pretty hard there guys I'm not squeezing too hard either so yeah that's not coming out unless I take it out and it comes out nice yeah I guess this is very nice Craig did an awesome job with this sheath. Uh, this is going to look real good when I'm all dressed up in my Wranglers. You know, them Wrangler butts drive girls nuts, right? Well, just my wife anyway. Uh, but yeah, very nice, man. I've, I'm looking forward to carrying this around. I really like I really like the way this looks. That ostrich, it's like this nice slight red color. Yeah, Craig, thank you, sir. You did an awesome job. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys are interested in Tops Knives, hit up their website. Uh, they're making some killer stuff. Um, I mean, I can't say enough good things about the company and about the people who run it. Uh, Leo's an awesome, awesome guy. Craig's awesome. Dylan, Maya, Edgar, Jesus, John, Benny kills it with his heat treats all the time i mean you can't go wrong with tops knives yes they are top notch 101 percent made in the usa uh, knife company and uh i highly recommend them and uh again thank you craig beautiful sheath man uh looking forward to carrying this around uh, beautiful work i mean and even this this is a beautiful sheath too but you know sometimes man that leather whew, just makes it look good you know so Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I appreciate it. Feel free to share, leave some comments if you will. Uh, I try to respond back, you know, I can't obviously respond back to everything, but you know, I, I do appreciate you guys watching and I, you know, I may just pop in there and say, Hey, you leave a comment. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. You know, uh, but feel free to like, subscribe, share, do whatever you need to do with it. Uh, I appreciate it. You guys have a great day.